My name is Zainab Murtala and I am the Monitoring and Reporting Officer for the Nigerian Humanitarian Fund managed by UN OCHA. I became a humanitarian because of the crisis in Darfur. I remember when it was happening, seeing the images on CNN um, and just seeing the humanitarian workers walking around the camps and helping people, seeing people's responses, the scale of human suffering. It was something that really touched me and I just knew then that I wanted to be one of the people that helped um, people like that who were in those situations. More recently, I remember being in an IDP camp and speaking to female beneficiaries of a clinic that had been built. I was asking one of them, like, so do you ever use the clinic? And she said, of course I do. We never had any back home. So just hearing her say it and talking about how the services she was receiving, the fact that she was being helped with free drugs because she couldn't afford it, it really it meant something and it stuck in my mind because I knew we were making a difference. I usually go around just looking at projects that are being implemented and supported by the Nigerian Humanitarian Fund. Um, so people talk to me, they tell me how satisfied they are or if they are not satisfied with projects, how they feel about it, the changes they would like to see. So hearing all of that information and knowing that I have the ability to make a difference because I can come back, report on it and changes will be made. So I'm able to really touch the lives of beneficiaries by making change happen for their sake. The biggest challenge for me is being away from home, being away from my loved ones. I'm the only one in my family that lives in Borno, so people are constantly calling me worried about my safety because they hear about the things happening in the state. If I were to describe my experience as a humanitarian, I would definitely say um, very rewarding, despite the fact that there are some challenges that we face. We're making a difference. We're touching people's lives.